untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game the video. Today we're taking a look at a red black artifact sacrifice deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon and I'm very excited to play the deck today as it seems like it has all the necessary pieces to be quite competitive and standard and if you take a look at the curve of the deck it's incredibly low, only one and two mana cards and the deck isn't even all that expensive to put together, assuming you already have some rares from previous expansions, like the Meat Hook Massacre and some of the dual lands, because it's mostly commons and uncommons otherwise. And the centerpiece of the deck is Oni Cult Anvil, a new two mana uncommon artifact from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, saying whenever one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn, create a 1 1 construct artifact creature token. This ability only triggers once each turn. Can also tap and sacrifice an artifact to deal one damage to each opponent, and we gain one life. So this is not quite as obnoxious as Cat plus Oven used to be, because we cannot sacrifice our construct after chump blocking with it and get a replacement, because it only triggers during our turn. Now it is still a very powerful engine that kind of works by itself, as we can sacrifice the same construct token over and over again to drain the opponent for one every turn, and at the same time we're also putting a lot of artifacts in play, which is very useful for the Dragon Spark Reactor, a 2 mana uncommon artifact, saying when the reactor or another artifact enters a battlefield under our control, put a charge counter on it, and we can pay 4 mana and sacrifice the reactor to deal damage equal to the number of charge counters on it to target player and that much damage to up to one target creature, so this can accumulate a ton of charge counters thanks to the Oni Cult Anvil and the many other artifacts in the deck, and this could potentially just kill the opponent on the spot, dealing 10 plus damage. Then another new card is the Soul Ripper, a 2 mana 4 3 rare vehicle. Crew cost is 2, and when the Soul Ripper attacks, we may sacrifice another artifact or creature. If we do, put a plus on plus 1 counter on it, and it also gains a menace until end of turn. Then to make sure we can fuel all these sacrifice engines, we've got a full play set of Shambling Ghast, a 1 mana 1 1 that when it dies either gives a creature minus 1 minus 1 until end of turn, or can create a treasure token, which is of course an artifact, can tap and sacrifice it to add 1 mana of any color, so great synergy with the Oni Cult Anvil as well, as sacrificing our treasure will also make a 1 1 construct token. Then we also have the full play set of Voldaren Epicure, a 1-1 one -one that when it enters the battlefield deals 1 damage to each opponent, and we get to make a blood token, another artifact token we can sacrifice to various effects. Then the Experimental Synthesizer is another great addition from Kamigawa, a 1-mana artifact that when it enters or leaves the battlefield we get to exile the top card of our library, and until end of turn we may play that card. And in a deck with an incredibly low curve, we're very likely to be able to play whatever we exile with a synthesizer, just make sure not to play a land before playing it, so we can potentially play a land from exile as well. Can also pay 2 in a red and sacrifice it to create a 2-2 white samurai creature token with vigilance. Then we also have the full play set of Voltage Surge, deals 2 damage to a creature or planeswalker. As an additional cost to cast it, we can also sacrifice an artifact, and if we do, it deals 4 damage instead, so a very efficient removal spell. And then the full place of a deadly dispute, an instant that as an additional cost makes us sacrifice an artifact or creature to draw two cards and create a treasure token, also very synergistic and a nice source of card advantage. And then to round out our deck, we have the full place of the Meat Hook Massacre as a powerful sweeper, giving all creatures minus X minus X until end of turn when it enters a battlefield, so not really a two drop. And then whenever a creature we control dies, each opponent loses one life, which also synergizes very nicely with the Anvil, as we can now deal two damage when we sacrifice our construct token instead of just one. And whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, we also gain one life, so just an awesome card in any sacrifice deck. And then the mana base also has a few new additions, including the two legendary lands, the red one we can channel to make two 1-1 one -one tokens with haste, and the black one we can channel to maybe get a creature or planeswalker back from our graveyard. And then we also have our creature lands with Hive of the Eye Tyrant, turning into a 3-3 with Menace, and the Den of the Bugbear, a 3-2 that is also joined by a 1-1 one -one attacking goblin, so also provides ample sacrifice fodder for the various sacrifice effects. And then of course a few dual lands to make sure we can cast all our spells. And still 24 lands total despite the low curve, because we have a lot of ways to spend our mana and to draw cards to activate more abilities, etc. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play and hand seems okay. It's a little bit on the slow side as we don't really want to play Synthesizer turn 1. But I'll keep it since we have our anvil. 
and then we can play synthesizer turn three to try and get some value from it and then double deadly dispute will dig pretty deep so we've got our anvil nothing to sacrifice just yet typically don't want to play synthesizer and sacrifice it in the same turn because then we might exile two lands that we can both play. So start here. And a Shambling Ghast we can play. So let's do that. So I think we'll just pass for now. Put into Green White Enchantment deck, maybe with Hallowed Haunting. A Restoration, fair enough. So this could be a reason not to kill the companion yet. Opponent attacks, we'll take it. Alright, so now I could start by sacking the synthesizer to the anvil, see what's on top. Another synthesizer, alright, let's keep going. Finds a land we can play. And then I can still play a Soul Ripper. Gas can attack. And keep up Voltage Surge. Opponent discards another companion that they get to return. Could of course set up our Meatog Massacre for one. So a few ways we can play this. There's the Hallowed Haunting. Yep. So eventually this turns into a 3-4, which we maybe want to take out with a Voltage Surge. So for now, let us untap. And then... Probably want to crew the Soul Ripper. And then I don't mind losing some of my creatures, as I'm probably going to set up a Massacre anyway. So step one might be to crew. Sacrificing Shambling Gas when I attack to make a treasure, so we have more mana for Massacre. Can also sack the Synthesizer. Maybe I'll start there, actually. All right, find another one. We've been here before. And a lance. So I'll play that tapped. Crew Soul Ripper. And then... Attack with both. And then I guess I could just uh, sacrifice a tapped token instead of the Shambling Ghast. See if they want to block. And then the plan is to Deadly Dispute and Voltage Surge. Although maybe we can just kill the Restoration with our Massacre instead. We'll see. Felled our Retreat, okay. That gives them some more staying power. So, opponent going for a plus one counter. Now I probably Voltage Surge. Sacrificing the token. And then the question is whether I want to sacrifice Shambling Gas to Dispute, if I want to still try and crew the Soul Ripper. I think uh, Dispute's fine here. Make a treasure. Alrighty. So step one, maybe sacrifice Synthesizer to Anvil. Okay, 
So I could play the Epicure, crew the Soul Ripper, and then cast Meat Hook Massacre afterwards. Or I could Meat Hook Massacre first for two, and then play Epicure and I can play another one using my treasure to crew. This deals one damage. This also deals one damage. Crew. And I think our opponent's just dead. Can sacrifice Epicure, get a counter, one more from Meat Hook Massacre. And that's game. So yeah, showing the power of Synthesizer alongside Anvil to generate a ton of card advantage. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand would be good in a creature matchup, but it's lacking synergy and card draw, so I think I take a mulligan still. This is better. And then difficult to give up on cast into dispute. And then Synthesizer will be a nice follow-up. Alright, against the red deck, that first hand would have been nice. But a Meat Hook Massacre to the rescue. Smelter 3-3 three, three here. And I probably want to chum block and dispute. Setting up our Meat Hook Massacre. Don't think I have time to play Reactor first. Can fizzle the Kami's Flare so we don't take the two additional damage. Now I could maybe wait one more turn on Massacre. Especially with the Shambling Gas to Chum Block. So, I could play Synthesizer first. Even though I give up a counter on the Reactor instead of playing Reactor first. But if we find another 2-drop, that could end up being better. So we'll play Synthesizer. Finds a deadly dispute. Okay, I guess I can sack a treasure to keep digging and then end up playing a shambling ghast anyway. Sure. Could also voltage surge. I think I'm happy jumping with a shambling ghast. So giving up some counters on the reactor here, but just trying to mitigate how much damage we take early while still drawing some cards. Another Kami's Flare. So if I wanted to, I could Voltage Surge, sacking Synthesizer, kill the Smelter to avoid taking too much damage. But I give up all the Synthesizer value, so guess I'll take it. And another saga. Alright, let's massacre for three. And next turn I can maybe dispute the synthesizer to kick things off. Lizard Blades with a counter. We definitely want to Surge. So how about I play Reactor, Dispute the Synthesizer, which still lets me play most cards, although I really need to Surge the Blades. So maybe I'm giving up too much value if I hit like a 2-drop I want to cast. 
So in that case, just react her and surge the blades. Bone moves to combats. And we'll take two. And then next turn I can dispute the synthesizer. Hope to find an anvil. Another one. I think I still start here. Exile a land we can play. Another Voltage Surge is nice. Although I'm kind of light on uh, red mana here. I guess I wasn't really planning on playing another Synthesizer here. So I'll just keep up Voltage Surge to maybe kill Den. And I could also sacrifice a Reactor if needed. Our opponent is playing a Burn Heavy deck, so possible I can afford to take two more damage from a creature. Opponent moves to combats. In which case I'll just surge the etching. And next turn I could also see play Synthesizer, just sack it to its own ability. Make a 2-2 token. Soul Ripper I can play, and then we can still keep up the reactor to deal with the Den of the Bugbear. Seems better in case they have removal for my 2-2 and then smack me for 4. Opponents got their own synthesizer, it's only fair. The next turn I could crew the Soul Ripper, perhaps. Opponent keeps digging, finds another rabbit battery. If they don't have a land, they can only play one. So they're deciding which one that's going to be. And it's going to be the Saga. There we go, there's our anvil. Perfect. So I can sacrifice the synthesizer. Although then I might be unable to crew, so maybe we just sacrifice it to its own ability, and then I'll still have four mana for reactor if needed. And we get a 1 1 from anvil. Another soul ripper. Yeah, I guess I could play that. Might be a little greedy, unless I keep the Soul Ripper on defense instead of attacking with it, which I guess is a fair compromise. And I'll pass. So Reactor on 7, and it's only gonna keep growing. Automaton with Ward 2. Opponent does have a lot of artifacts, so it does make sense. Two cards in hand, but we still have an extra synthesizer. So I'm liking my position now. Can use this to make two tokens at instant speed. Can play Shambling Ghasts, Anvil, Sacrifice once again to keep digging since we haven't played a land yet. Might be able to crew both vehicles here. Another Massacre. 
So sequencing. I could crew both vehicles, attack with them giving menace, and then play a massacre second main. And the our opponent has seen enough, just too much card advantage, too many engines. And of course we still have our reactor here on nine counters, so possible there's even a sequence where I can just kill my opponent outright with reactor killing one blocker and dealing nine to their face and then the two menacing vehicles getting past their only blocker. So I'm pretty sure they're just dead here. On to the next one. All right, we're on the play with a nice opening hand. Turn one, I'm leaning. It's actually close, probably shambling ghasts. That way I save the actual artifacts until after we play reactor, which I can play on turn two. And then next turn, play Anvil plus Epicure, can sack the blood token, make another 1-1 one, one construct, make the reactor even bigger. So, a nice start, and then we're hoping to find some of our card draw, whether it's Synthesizer or Deadly Dispute. Up against what could be a more controlling deck. Black White's Professor. So it looks like the Black White control deck with Spider Queen, Sorin maybe. And there's our Synthesizer, perfect. Don't want to play it this turn since I have other plans. So, Anvil. Can attack for one. Opponent trades, we'll make a treasure. And then probably sack the blood token over the treasure. Since I've got a synthesizer to dig us deeper, so the extra mana comes in handy. Dockside Chef. And another Professor. Which could find an answer for my reactor. And yep, yeah, reduced to memory will work. So I might want to keep four mana available for reactor in case I try and get rid of it. For now. Could still play synthesizer, and then if it's a land, I can still sacrifice reactor using the treasure. If it's a non-land, we'll have to reevaluate. Shambling ghast, I guess, still counts. If I can sacrifice it somehow, which I guess is not a guarantee, as Anvil only sacrifices artifacts. So if I play a ghast, I wouldn't be able to sacrifice a reactor, which I think is worth it here. So I'll attack with the construct in case they take it. Opponent takes it and sack it to the anvil. And I'll pass with reactor available. Opponent's not gonna go for mastery yet. So I gave up a little bit of value by not playing the shambling gas, but that's okay. Alright, never mind, vanishing verse, still gonna go for it. And we'll take out the chef. Step one, probably sacrifice synthesizer. Or I could send a creature land here. Hive. Attack with a team also sounds good. Sure.
opponents at 5. Under pressure from creature lands and artifacts. And a 1-1 one -one token, I guess. Mastery gets rid of Anvil. So at 5 life, 2 mana, pretty far behind on board. Although there could be another Vanishing Verse. So... If I animate a creature land, attack, they Vanishing Verse it, they would be at 1 and then Epicure can finish them off. That seems fine. Opponent maybe waited a little bit too long, since now we still get the attacking goblin, so the right timing was beginning of combat, so we couldn't play the Epicure by floating mana, and we didn't get the goblin token, so a small misstep there, but I don't think it ended up mattering too much. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a pretty reasonable hand. Turn 1 Epicure. Then... Don't have an ideal turn 2 play since I don't really want to play Synthesizer until turn 3 if I can help it. So hopefully opponent presents a target for Voltage Surge. Or I can just deadly dispute the Blood Token. Which is maybe not as interesting as sacking the Synthesizer, but I guess it'll do for now. Can do that at instant speed, so we'll wait. Opponent may be playing a similar deck. Alright, a couple more Voltage Surges. So I could play Reactor, keep up Surge, hit for one, and then start leveling up Reactor. And wait an extra turn on Synthesizer Dispute. That seems fine. And then we can kill the Soul Ripper by sacrificing the treasure to the Voltage Surge. Harvester, okay. So, also plays well in this type of deck. Certainly a card you could include, as it crews the Soul Ripper by itself. I guess we can let them attack first, in case they want to sacrifice the Blood Token. And a Shambling Ghast. Okay, now a Synthesizer seems fine. Finds another Reactor, which I'll gladly play. And then Shambling Ghasts. So our late game is sort of taken care of with Double Reactor, especially if we find an Anvil at some point. So it's just about not falling behind on board. And hoping our opponent's not playing a braid, I guess, to destroy their reactor. Trading shambling gas to both make treasures seems fine. If they kill Epicure, I'm also happy with that. One potential concern could be an Immerstorm Predator, which could become indestructible if they sack Harvester, but opponents could throw an Anvil instead. Alright, it's definitely a good card in the matchup. Hopefully we can find one with Dispute and Synthesizer here. Found a Meat Hook Massacre, which I can still cast for two. And we found an anvil. Perfect. So yeah, meat hook for two seems fine. And then we'll wait a turn on anvil. Probably could have played that as a red source as well. And then now meat hook plus anvil drains for two as opposed to one. 
still have a treasure we can sacrifice to start making constructs. So I'm liking my position. Play Anvil. Sacrifice treasure. And yeah, Anvil plus double reactor. Our opponents know the deck pretty well themselves, so they know they wouldn't be able to beat that. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand's very promising. Turn one ghasts. Turn two, probably Soul Ripper. Could use another creature to crew it. And uh, also have the option of Deadly Dispute to just generate a ton of treasure. So that's also an option. I think I still play the Soul Ripper first. No attacks. Could play the Synthesizer next turn. So we're put into Black White Snow Control deck maybe. Could have a Vanishing Verse for Soul Ripper. It's going to be Rite of Oblivion instead. So that's dealt with. There's our Anvil, so not a bad follow-up. So... What's my play here? I could Synthesizer first anyway. Although I don't really want to sack that to the Anvil this turn. If I Anvil, I wouldn't be making a token right away. So I guess Synthesizer first is fine. And an Epicure we can still play. And then next turn I can play Anvil and potentially sacrifice the Synthesizer. Announcement's a good one. So we'll eventually want to find a Meat Hook Massacre. There it is. Now, if I Anvil, sack Synthesizer, and I find a 2-drop, I wouldn't be able to necessarily play it. So that's an argument for maybe waiting on it and going for a Deadly Dispute instead. Guess I could also Deadly Dispute the Synthesizer itself. Although we do miss out on an Anvil trigger. It's probably still okay, actually. Exile Shambling Ghast, which I can now play. And then probably find to attack with a team. And in fact, I could still play Anvil and then sack the treasure to play Shambling Ghast, so I get an extra 1 1 token. And pass it back. Opponent's probably playing their own Meat Hook Massacre as well. Sorin we can kill with Voltage Surge. Violence is necessary to set things right. I bring my own army. And a Soul Ripper's nice. Okay, so I can Voltage Surge just killing Sorin, or I could just go after the Vampire and attack down Sorin. That's maybe better. And then sacrifice the Blood Token in the process. Get another 1-1 one, one token, play Soul Ripper, although I wouldn't be able to keep up Deadly Dispute. I think that's still fine here. So kill this, sack this. Sack Sorin.
Do have to watch out for Blood on the Snow getting Soren back. Currently three snow lands in play already. And then here I can let the trade happen. Or I can sacrifice to Anvil, but the trade's probably fine. Let this be over. And I think we still play the Soul Ripper as opposed to holding it and keeping up Deadly Dispute, which is also an option. So if they wipe my board, I can make a bunch of treasure, maybe use Hive to crew Soul Ripper as well. Right, Spider Queen, that's fine. Opponent does get another token here. So Shambling Ghast wouldn't be able to finish off the spiders anymore. So, now what? Got a Meat Hook Massacre to potentially wipe the board. I could crew Soul Ripper first. Spider Queen gets 3 loyalty, up to 4. Soul Ripper would get minus 2, minus 2. So, won't quite be able to kill Spider Queen, even after putting an extra counter on the Soul Ripper. I guess I could Meat Hook Massacre for one instead. If I Meat Hook Massacre for one, I guess the 2-2 token doesn't die, but this will gain Menace. So that should still work. So minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. My power is for annihilation. So and then attack will be rewarded. and sacrifice to give menace. Okay. Well, hope there's no blood on the snow, because don't know if I can deal with another Spider Queen. Opponent can ride to Oblivion, deal with one of my artifacts. But we still have a creature land at least, oof, another Spider Queen. Uh, Two more tokens. And I the generous one. Well, maybe we're just on the drain plan now. Ooh, and a Dragon Spark Reactor can help with that. So, while I could animate Hive, it's not going to accomplish much. So I think we play Reactor, keep up Deadly Dispute to sack whatever they try and kill. And try and get ahead that way. And hope they don't find answers to my artifacts. Opponent sends in their own hive, so they do have a pretty fast clock. And they're not going to go for rights. Alright, so they keep the spiders back. Don't think I pulled the trigger on Deadly Dispute yet. Another announcement. Okay, might need another Meat Hook Massacre here. Voltage Surge deals with Spider Queen. It's probably fine here. Alternatively, can kill a spider. No, that doesn't get us anywhere. You win this round, but I'll be waiting. I really hope they go for this right. It's gonna be an Edgar instead. Take six. Put 
opponent may be saving the right for the reactor. Yep, and just draws with the announcements. Well, kind of running out of options here. I think I need to dispute, dig for some answers. Otherwise, I'm just dead next turn. And what to sacrifice is an interesting question. Do I have any chance of connecting with the Soul Ripper? Seems unlikely. Even though that could deal a pretty substantial chunk. Could sacrifice the Anvil, although that's our combo with the Reactor. So, tough call. I think we'll sacrifice the Soul Ripper. Okay, so I can play Epicure. I could sacrifice a treasure to the anvil to make a 1 1 token. Could also sack the blood token to loot, see what we can pick up. Play that and pass. And if they try and take out my reactor, I can still sacrifice it. Yep, Vanishing Verse. Take out a spider. So their opponent is getting pretty low, but they can still write as well here. Take out my Anvil or the Meatog Massacre. It's going to be a welcoming vampire. Alright, opponent's at 6. Shambling Ghast. Draws a card. Edgar and Spider attack, can jump Edgar to drain with Massacre, keep my artifact for Anvil. And a mountain's not gonna cut it here, sadly. So yeah, got the opponent pretty low, just needed to maybe keep our engine in play a few extra turns. Can drain him for two here essentially, put him to three. So, yeah, still a close game. Didn't draw quite as many synthesizers this game to keep going through the deck. Opponent attacks, and there's no way we can survive this, is there? Can animate my own hive. And best I can do is block a 3 3, block a 6 6. Still very much dead. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play and we've got a promising opening hand. Get this done out of the way and hang on to Synthesizer till maybe turn 3. Turn 2 I could play Soul Ripper, in case I draw Epicure I could sack the Blood Token and crew the Soul Ripper.
automaton. Another soul ripper, not really what I need right now. Soul play synthesizer. Hope not to hit Meat Hook Massacre, I guess. Another synthesizer I can play. And I guess if I hit a Shambling Ghast, I can still play it. Ah, just a lane. Double Automaton, so now probably need to find a Meat Hook Massacre soon. Ronan can keep growing the Automatons, so they will get out of hand. So we're in danger. Another Anvils, not bad though. And then I could sack Synthesizer so I can attack with a Soul Ripper. Although I'll give up all the value. Or I can just sack the 1 1 to itself. I think I'm gonna need the extra cards here. Although being aggressive could be one way of maybe beating them. Although next turn I'm taking quite the hit. I guess I could also keep Soul Ripper on defense. Although it doesn't block particularly well. So, tough choice. Yeah, maybe I do just give up the card advantage. Bone playing white as well. Triple automaton. Yeah, not where we want to be. And a deadly dispute. Okay. So, points at 14. Can hit them for 5 with the Soul Ripper, down to 9. Two anvil triggers, down to 7. But I probably have to be a bit more defensive here. I can jump with my tokens to trigger anvil. Probably want to sack one now, one in the opponent's turn. But I also want to crew the Soul Ripper, which I guess we can still do here. Attack. And then if I sack a 1 1, I get two more. Can play another Soul Ripper to potentially block with. And then Anvil can gain one life. So we might be able to chum block our way out of this. Opponent's got their own Anvil. So Automaton kind of fills a similar role to Dragon Spark Reactor. Can be better in some creature matchups. Against Sweeper Heavy decks, you would rather want a Reactor, so. Kind of boils down to what you're facing. So I'm gonna be close to dead here. Chump, chump. And then I can maybe start with a deadly dispute. Don't find anything useful. And then I'm gonna still take 6, plus Anvil threatens 7. So I probably need to sacrifice the treasure now. Also possible just uh, sacking the token was better. As now it's gonna be more difficult to animate than of the bugbear. Meat Hook Massacre. What do you do for me? I can meat hook for one, which would then drain the opponent for one. 
They're at seven. I get two tokens. I can crew Soul Ripper. That already has a counter. Goes up to six after I sacrifice something and then double anvil should get the job done. Meat Hook Massacre triggers, opponents at 6, and they die. Well, there you have it. Didn't get to see the matchup of Reactor vs. Automaton, but still got to see the power of Anvil making some chum blockers, and then Meat Hook Massacre helping us drain the opponent to death as well. So yeah, got to see a couple different matchups, and overall I'm quite impressed by the Anvil Sacrifice deck. A few potential ways to approach it, like we saw with our opponent here playing the Automaton, also a card you could consider. So yeah, overall pretty sweet deck with lots of interesting lines of play, which is always nice when a deck is both potentially good, but also interesting and fun to play. So also rewards you for mastering the deck and learning all the different play patterns. So yeah, cannot recommend the deck enough. If this kind of strikes your fancy, definitely go for it, and I'm sure some adjustments can still be made to make it even better, but I'm already pretty happy where it's at. So that'll do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.